Despite the remarkable progress made in increasing food production at the global level, approximately half of the population in the third world does not have access to adequate food supplies. One of the main causes of inadequate food supplies is the occurrence of both quantitative and qualitative food losses that occur at all stages in the agricultural post-harvest system. Estimates of post-harvest losses of food grains in the developing world occur at the farm level and arise as a result of produce mishandling that exacerbates breakage, spillage and pest infestation and contamination. In Tanzania, grain losses are estimated at 27%. This means that more than one quarter of what is produced never reaches the consumer for whom it was grown and the energy, water and money required to produce it are lost forever. Tanzania, located on the eastern side of Africa, has a population of 51.82 million people and the economy is heavily based on agriculture, which accounts for 24.5% of the gross domestic product. The country was said to be 118% food self-sufficient in 2014, following two successive seasons of bumper crops. The National Food Reserve Agency, NFRA, has 30 storage facilities with an installed capacity of 241,000 metric tons. Other storage facilities owned locally by cooperatives and or private initiatives exist in Tanzania as well, yet their capacity is still limited, with the majority of facilities having storage capacities below 400 metric tons. Poor post-harvest management and storage often impacts on smallholder farmers' food security and income generation potential. Losses in storage are exacerbated by late preparation of storage structures, late harvesting, poor storage facilities and storage bags with low shelf life that are also easily punctured by pests. These issues lead most smallholder farmers to dispose of their produce right after harvest at often unfavorable prices. We use the normal storage bags, fill them with corn, add pesticide, then we seal the top. The bags can allow oxygen in, thus easily infested by these pests. In 2013 to 2014, AGRA, in partnership with the Rockefeller Foundation, embarked on comprehensive learning studies on waste and spoilage in Africa's food systems. The studies established six broad influences of waste and spoilage in Africa. Disjointed smallholder farmers, limited knowledge among farmers of post-harvest management and technology use. Lack of proper storage technologies and equipment. Lack of structured markets limited access to affordable finance and unfavorable policies. These broad challenges for the most part account for delayed or immature crop harvesting, poor methods of harvesting, use of inappropriate on-farm storage structures and drying methods which expose the produce to more pests and vermin. In 2014, AGRA, in partnership with the Rockefeller Foundation, initiated an intervention to introduce and promote three affordable and innovative technologies for adoption by various value chain actors. The initiative aimed at testing the efficacy of hermetic cocoons, hermetic bags and metallic silos. AGRA has also been exploring motivations and incentives for behavior change towards adoption of post-harvest technologies in Tanzania. In particular, the project sought to provide answers to technology usage and behavior change, application of technologies, context-specific issues, policy gaps. Focus group discussions have been conducted with farmers to discuss influences of technology adoption and application. Preliminary findings indicate that awareness of these technologies was found to be relatively low at below 22% of all the farmer group respondents. 
when the hermetic bags cost between 94 cents and $2.35, up to 42.39% of the farmers would be willing to pay. 85% of the farmers in focus group discussions identified weevils as a major storage problem, while 79% identified rats as a major storage problem. 88% of farmers in focus group discussions indicated use of pesticides as the main control measure for weevils and other pests. Poison was identified as the main control for rats. In the year 2014, we had a bumper harvest. This encouraged and motivated us to work closely with the government in addressing the problem of preserving and marketing our farm produce. Farmers in conjunction with NFRA can now preserve their farm produce from the household level, village level and even the national level without using these chemicals. Approximately 36,000 hermetic bags and 20 metal silos have been purchased by 15,000 farmers who have also benefited from training on post-harvest management. The uptake is by and large driven by the fact that the technologies are able to store grain without the use of chemicals. In the 2015-2016 season, a total of 141,950 hermetic bags, 131 metal silos and 8 hermetic cocoons are on order by the more than 22,000 smallholder farmers benefiting from the integrated project towards reduction of post-harvest losses that is being implemented in the northern, central and southern regions of Tanzania. Rosanna, a small-scale farmer in Iringa, could not believe that cereals could be stored without chemicals even after the technology training, so she decided to test it for herself. I decided to perform my own three preservation tests on my maize back home. I stored some with no pesticide, others with pesticide, and the rest in the modern storage bags. In October, I checked all three storage areas. I started with the ones I stored without pesticide and found that they had been badly infested and permanently destroyed by the pests. Followed by the bags I stored with pesticide, which I found had already been infested, meaning the pesticide's effect was worn out. Finally, the ones I stored in the modern bags. I found they were very fresh, no infestation whatsoever, and the pests were nowhere near the modern bags. Since you were given these metal silos, our maize has been very good and fresh compared to the ones we used to store with added pesticide, which turned out to be dangerous. Back home, my kids and wife are very happy because they are sure maize stored in these metal silos is safe. Individual businesses and farmers with a lot of produce have also adopted the technology. This project has helped a lot of farmers in preserving their produce and business people in comfortably storing this farm produce in large scale. It has saved a lot since now people consume an infested maize. We are pleased and citizens are happy and have reciprocated very well to the project. Last year, people have been highly motivated to even storing more than 1,000 bags in a hermetic cocoon. Part of the work in this project is to develop the distribution system so that the bags can reach the farmers throughout the country. For that to be workable, we have to have the volumes. It has to make a business sense for these uh, uh, technology manufacturers. And the uh, Agra is uh, working with the, our partner Rockefeller Foundation to put together a revolving fund with the one financial institution through which uh, the technology manufacturers and distributors can access financing. So our partnership with the government is uh, to look at how we can uh, eliminate the duties or reduce the duties to a level that makes these technologies affordable. What drew us to come and work here in Tanzania is trying to look at how successful the projects have been. And uh, in this work, the YieldWise initiative, you might ask me what is the innovation. Really, we know there are many other um, organizations that have come before us. They have come up, um, they have maybe promoted different technologies, others have um, done different components of um, the value chain, but what we really are bringing in is, uh, is an integrated approach.
Agra is currently scaling up the integrated initiative and targets to reach 100,000 farmers. The project will seek to strengthen aggregation centers, provide farmers with good agronomic and post-harvest management training, support technology manufacturers, enhance technology distribution and make technologies more accessible to smallholder farmers. The project will also use their financial mechanisms to support private sector buyers and processors acquire post-harvest machinery, build warehouses and stores, as well as purchase short-term hermetic technologies. The project will be in place for the next three years and has a goal of reducing post-harvest losses by 50%.